Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so at peace right now. And it's, it's quite ironic because I'm currently feeling quite stressed about exams, which is normal. And I've just found this inner quiet and inner peace just by going on my daily walk back home from the gym. And it was in that moment that I decided to take a minute and enjoy the greenery. And then my thoughts start kicking in as they do. And I thought, oh my goodness, I want to make a YouTube video about the things that I will miss, but not just miss because that seems like they're not, they're not gonna be in my life anymore, right? But more so just cherishing and treasuring these moments that have made this past year of my life or this kind of chapter as a university student so special and what better way to start this video than being here which is a really beautiful green space in Clifton on my way home so I pass this place every day going home going to uni going out to the gym whatever it is I walk through here um, it is in moments like these where I'm able to see past all these thoughts and emotions that I go through on the day-to-day -day basis and be like, hey, do you know what? Just bringing yourself back to, to a state of non-thinking, to a state of just simply being. Things that I will miss about Bristol, part one. Well, maybe just about the UK, really. It doesn't have to be about Bristol, but we're going to just make it Bristol-related. Um, I've got my ice latte here. Oh, my God. I am really perpetuating the stereotypes right now. But do you know what? I don't care. <laughs> um, I will miss the random benches that are just everywhere. And the benches that are dedicated to people. This one right here says dedicated to... Margaret Floyd, who, um, yeah, must have been someone important or meaningful. Well, we all are in our own way, but this bench right here, this is for her. Oh my goodness, there's like a little, there's just little two ladybirds right there. Oh my God, they're just chilling. That is so cute. What are they up to, eh? <laughs> Um, I actually have my final exam. Wow, this is like my own little cave. Um, I'll also miss these, these cute moments just in, in random green spots in Bristol because there are so many. I'm just feeling like... Mm. <laughs> I'm definitely feeling a lot of emotion right now and I can feel it I can really feel it like in my body I know that sounds weird but it's true our physical bodies our physical self is so much an embodiment of our emotions and everything is connected so yeah it feels it feels good to have worked out and to like have just done that but as well it was it was pretty intense like just dealing with that emotion and stuff so yeah wow i'm in i'm literally obsessed with bristol this is insane look how green oh my god i will miss my little makeshift window seat it's not a window seat i'm literally just low-key hanging out my window but that's okay i've got my foot firmly planted on the floor here um and yeah <laughs> right now i'm just taking a break from writing my employment law exam and just relishing the final few days i have in this house in this room in this space which has served me so beautifully for the past nine months i'm gonna miss it so much look at oh. this view from my window like it's so pretty i love this house that one right there it's so nice um and yeah this is clifton this is literally clifton it's insane i love it here 
Oh God, it's a bit of a faff to get out, but it's funny how much a space and a home can mark us if we let it. Um, I really have, I don't even know if I've shown YouTube my room. This is my room, by the way. I guess I have in different ways, but this is it. This is me. I've got my two mirrors, A and B. I've got my wonderful globe, which was originally part of a lamp, but then it broke. So I put it there. Got a lovely fig candle from another bonus. A cute little bird chain from Mexico. This is another globe, my mini globe. It's so cute. Oh my God, she's so pretty. There's a load of junk I'm moving out. My backpack, obviously. And then here we've got some shells from the ocean, projector, a little, some photos for Tito's. Then here we've got my little, I don't know, my bits and bobs. Um, I guess we could call them jewelry. And then just lots of mess, like literally lots of mess. But I love this. Like this is just, wow. I've had such a nice room this year. Um, <laughs> it's so funny thinking about like where I'll be living next month. Like I literally... It's going to be so different and even the next month after that i'm just going to be living i don't even know where i'm going to be living which is insane but ah uh, it's all going to be fine i'm going to be able to make it my own and the thing about spaces is that like we make them what we want them to be we are able to express ourselves creatively and, and that's so cool because you know i've learned a lot about how i value my space and what i want it to look like and how i want it to be embodied as kind of my own self my own form of self-expression and this room particularly has really given me that sense of freedom and creativity to pull myself into it and you can like I'm just so at one and so comfortable in my room and that is something that I treasure so definitely gonna be missing these moments <gasps> there's a wasp in my room oh my god no this is bad this is oh my goodness this is so nice. <gasps> the sun is just like literally hitting me. Oh, I finish my exams tomorrow and here I am just, just peacefully finishing my essay with a bowl of Greek yogurt, mango, strawberries and coconut. I was actually just having a little journal because I thought to myself, I want to capture this moment i want to capture this feeling like all my senses are being activated i'm literally like being warmed by the sunshine my yoga is just giving me that good good <laughs> and the sound of the wind and the sound of the birds and also the knowing that tomorrow this time tomorrow i'm literally going to be free that is blissful this is the taste of freedom. Mm. Mm. So sweet. Ready? Three, mm. two. 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 One. Mm. Oh, this is my wife. I'll cut that. <laughs> oh my god! Wait, it's gonna unfold. I finished my exams. I have finished my law degree. What? Just like that. Just like that, I'm done. So we are post post swim in the in the in the mud. Hashtag Wales. Guys, we've just <laughs> driven an hour and a half from Bristol. Bristol. We left the we left Bristol for the yeah. Wales. Let's start from the beginning because it was a great okay. beginning. Let's rewind. I finished my exams. <laughs> Congrats. Lol. Hashtag. Yeah. Final Friday. Saturday. Final Saturday, Saturday of Evie's time in Bristol. <laughs> Slash Wales. Just say UK. And to celebrate Bristol. We're in Wales. Woohoo! 
Um, and we have had a lovely kind of road trip vibe here. We're also trying to find a place to camp on yes. this very rocky beach. We definitely don't have a place to stay right now because apparently the tide comes in a lot. So we would basically be submerged. Uh, like maybe for oh wait, <laughs> let me take it off you. We'd be submerged like four hours. <laughs> This is a good shot, you know. Is it? <laughs> so, yeah. so yeah, we were gonna look at camping somewhere, somewhere up on this cliff. Hopefully, no one pushes us off in the middle of the night. We've got no tent poles, oh, we so gonna we're gonna have to rely. <laughs> is it? <laughs> we're gonna be like on top. Of we're each gonna other. be like Eskimos, all like huddled together. Go on, let's see yours. One more time. <laughs> Let's see yours. I, no, <laughs> I don't do that. I am mad, so not me. Thanks. Guys, I'm done packing. This is the final suitcase. We're gonna close it. Oh, yes. That was pretty quick, no? Yeah. Moi et toi ou toi et Amin Moi et Amin. Oui, s'il si si veut. C'était lui qui veut le parti plus tôt. Ouais, au oh, revoir. Bah, ouais. ouais. C'est mon but, mais c'est ah, ouais, ouais. lui que je suis prête aussi. Ouais. Oh, my oh my god, this is crazy. I am all packed up and ready to leave. Bristol. I don't even have the words. It's a bit surreal. Very emotional. But embracing all the emotions and knowing that it's the beginning of a new adventure, a new chapter, a new stage in my life. And Bristol and my university experience has served me so well and I've learned so much. And I now feel that, yeah, it's the right time. It's a good time. And it feels so strange to be leaving and I know it's all very fast. I just finished exams on Friday and it's Sunday and I'm jetting off and I don't know when I'll be back. But hey, that's all part of the fun. It's all part of the adventure. And remembering that, you know what? This room, this space, this bed, these items of furniture are temporary in terms of my being. And finding a home and finding comfort, I think, comes from within first and foremost. So whilst it feels quite scary to pack up all my life and pack up all my stuff into a, you know, a 20 kilogram backpack for I don't even know how long, it's quite exciting. And it's a reminder that material things and material possessions are just, they're nothing really. What matters most is ourselves, our mental health, our physical health. I think when I travel like in this way, it really forces me to live life from that perspective. And it's very empowering. It's incredibly scary. But again, I go back to my point time and time again that fear is just a concept. It's a mental construct and we can do things with fear. I don't think that fear should stop us, but it's the crucial mental narrative that does stop us every time and so it's about just doing things that scare you like this is this is making me so oh inside but i'm just doing it with fear and i know that the at the other end of this story is a lot of growth a lot of lessons and a lot of happiness so how grateful and lucky i am to be able to share this on youtube so thank you bristol thank you for watching and join me very soon for the beginning of some crazy adventures. Bye. Oh my God, this is my room all packed up. Um, packing is, uh, you know, as you can see, very elaborate, very thoughtful. <laughs> um, and yeah, oh my God, this is crazy. Ah.